Some Fairfax County voters may be surprised by a controversial campaign postcard just landing in their mailboxes. Yeah, a GOP school board candidate sent out these postcards to share his views. He wants some books with sexually explicit content removed from school library shelves. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey spoke with him today about whether he's helping or hurting his case. Hunter Mill School Board candidate Harry Jackson pictured on the front of the postcard, on the flip side, illustrations of sex acts depicted in some of the books he wants FCPS to remove from schools. We blacked out the pictures because of their graphic nature. Jackson tells me his campaign sent out about 500 of the postcards, and even though he's a GOP endorsed candidate, he says he's targeting addresses of people he describes as Democrats, progressives, and independents. The mailer was created to bring awareness to parents within the community. Most parents are unaware when, of what material is being promulgated within our libraries. Why not send out more postcards then? Jackson says he was also testing the Postal Service to see if the postcards would get through. It was a first test. One, I mean, you know, would I get arrested for it? You know, so I'm going to test this out. Even though book battles have been in the spotlight for years now, Jackson believes too many parents are still in the dark. He says he's primarily focused on three books and says he'd draw a hard line between them and literature like Kite Runner and Beloved that some school boards have banned. We're talking about you know, specific books, Lawn Boy. This meets the definition of child pornography. Jackson's mailer also taking aim at his opponent, altering a photo of her making inflammatory claims. Jackson's opponent and the target of the mailer, Melanie Marin, has been endorsed by the Democratic Party. She declined to comment on camera about the mailer. By phone, the incumbent telling me, quote, I think elections are a time to have respectful and thoughtful conversations. I welcome that in our community. That's where my attention is focused. I'm focused on new solutions to continue strengthening our public schools. I asked Jackson whether his campaign tactic undermined his message, given that a child could be the one to pull his postcard out of the mailbox. Parents are, are unaware of what's with their material, the material that their children are seeking. That child that may, it's not intended for children to receive out of, out of a mailbox. Jackson says he hasn't decided whether to send out even more of the postcards. In Fairfax County, I'm Julie Carey, News 4. By the way, Harry Jackson came under fire last year after he was seen on a Zoom feed watching the Fairfax County School Board meeting and laughing uh, and making fun of a child with autism who sang the national anthem. He later called what he did a mistake.